Tell to smell good, where I do discuss fragrance and fashion. If it interests you, consider subscribing. Show your boy some love. I have a very special video today, guys. I'm going to be going over five more clones. I think you should own. Guys, clone houses, dupe, inspiration, whatever you want to call them, are silently taking over <laughs> the market, okay? And they're doing an incredible job. Years back when clone houses were first trying to, you know, get a little movement, it was always, well, the quality is trash or it's not even close. Now you can't even say that anymore. They've closed a quality gap <laughs> and they're also getting closer and closer through reverse engineering to the same original fragrance. And that's hard to beat, especially in an inflated economy. You can make the argument that it's kind of hard to pay $200 for a fragrance when well, you can get something that's 90% as close for $25. That's tough. <laughs> that's tough, man. But hey, honestly, the expensive fragrances, two, three hundred, four hundred, you may have priced yourself out of the market. I mean, I say repent. Repent means change your mind. <laughs> Do something different, man, because the clone houses are not slowing down and they're all kind of new clone houses coming up because they getting into it. They say, hey, man, these clones are taking off. This is what the people want. So I would say, I mean, you're going to get your your frag heads and your your handful of people that are going to purchase those fragrance for the exclusive aspect. But the bulk of people, the mass majority of people are going for these clones and I'm here for it. And I got five you may enjoy, okay? The first one I'm gonna discuss is very new to my fragrance wardrobe, guys. And this is from one of the most prominent clone houses that are really shutting it down. Latafa Maison Alhambra. And this fragrance is called Hercules. And this is a clone of Parfum de Marley Herod, which is a very popular fragrance. You're getting some vanilla, some tobacco. This fragrance is incredible especially for the $25 I paid. Almost unreal. You guys know it is hard to find a good quality fragrance for $25, man. It's just, it's hard to come by, man. And you got it here. It smells very expensive. It's long lasting. I would say more for the fall, winter, and spring, summer nights. It's got date night, wrote all over it. It's got sophistication wrote all over it. I think you should grab this one. I got this one from the perfume box. And that's another thing. <laughs> New discounters are showing up. Perfume box, the bell, Joma shop. I mean, from discounters and clone houses, it doesn't cost a lot to smell good, guys. That's all I'm saying, okay? Next, from Latafa again. One of my favorites, this is a set them down fragrance. It smells very similar to what it's cloning. And this is Latafa Infini Rose. Guys, this is a clone of Initio Atomic Rose. That fragrance is very expensive. I paid $25 for this for the 100 mil. Peep the presentation, purple and gold, heavy bottle, rose, citrus, vanilla. Very bright, very uplifting. Unisex, all day. If you're new, I wouldn't go to this right now because it is unisex, leaning slightly feminine if your palette is new. But I'm telling you, when this fragrance hits me, it's a dream. I love it. And I highly recommend this for a clone you need to own, okay? Next, from the house of Parfum Vintage, and this is Sandal Amber. Uh, they mainly do Creed Aventus clones. As you know, Creed Aventus, if you're new, they have several batch variations and they pretty much have found a clone for every batch variation of creed i have four different creed clones in my possession i have our moth club the new intense i have ryan insurrection those smell very similar those smell with what i would call basically a a perfect blend of creed event is where you get some of the pineapple and some of the smoke okay and sometimes they have vanilla batches which i have the richless black bottle and that's what I would call a vanilla bath, a Creed Aventus. And then I have Swiss Arabian Shock, which is heavy on the pineapple, which is what I would call a pineapple bath. But they specialize really in Creed Aventus. But listen, this fragrance is discontinued what it's cloning, and it's cloning 
Tom Ford, Amber Absolute, guys. Heavy, Amber Smooth. I say any season, any reason. Very smooth fragrance if you're new. I love all things Amber. Amber Pottery Dream. Get your sample, man. I paid $6. I highly recommend. Sample first, guys, for a lot of different reasons. You have to see how it wears on your body with your skin chemistry, with your pheromones. It's going to be totally different for everybody. So I always recommend sampling first. Even if you're in your local department store and you get your nose on it and do like that, and ah, it, that's still not a total wearing experience. It gets you closer than a, buy, a blind buy, but it's not a wearing experience. Always simple, but guys, Sandal Amber, you really can't miss me with Amber, although it's not impossible. It's really good, man. It is really good. Smooth, amber, powdery goodness, okay? Next, here we go. <laughs> Latafa, again. Maison Alhambra. Kiss me from men. This is a clone of YSL. Tuxedo, another sought after fragrance in the community. Vanilla, patchouli dream. This could be a... <laughs> Guys, this could be... This could be a signature scent for me. It just fits me. And when you know, you know. And that for everybody will be different. A signature scent is more you, you know, more of your representation. A signature scent is like, you know, if your friends are in a room, they know you're there without you being there. You feel me? But guys, Kiss Me for Men, they have the new one called the Tux. I haven't smelled that one. I heard it's good, but this one is great. $25 again. And most of the Latafa offerings are going to be in that $25 to $35 range, which is impressive. I mean, you could do a haul for $100. You know what I mean? It's, that's just hard to beat, man. Incredibly hard to beat. Next. Another clone you need to own. I didn't know it was a clone at first. I had a few viewers that were saying this was a clone. Guys, Noya Amber is great. This is a clone of Verba Pura. Why? Because this is also a clone of Verba Pura. I wore this Friday and they both have the same vanilla ice cream sandwich dry down. Only thing is this one is more ambery up top where this is more fruity top. Fruity top vanilla ice cream dry down, ambery top, vanilla ice cream sandwich dry down. However, this one lasts much longer than this one. However, it's more expensive. These uh, hair remains going about that $50 range, which is still good, or pure. I know it's over $200, okay? Or you can get this one for 25. Doesn't last quite as long, but it does last. It sits a little closer to the skin. However, you get that ambery touch up top, okay? But yeah, same vanilla, vanilla ice cream sandwich dry down, man. 25 bones. Check it out, man. You may like it. All right, guys. So there are five clones to own. Hey, turn your notifications on because these clones are not slowing down. It just is what it is. I mean, Latafa, man, they have restyled. Check out my guy, Mass Man Reviews. He reviewed one. I didn't even know that they were reviewing for that. I think it's called Porto, Porto. I'm not sure that the house, a house that I, you know, didn't expect them to be cloning, but they're cloning pretty much every house. They came from the Louis Vuitton line and they're cloning the Louis Vuitton. They're coming for everybody, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, thanks for taking time out your day to watch my video. It's greatly appreciated. On the way out, don't forget to like, as this does help the channel grow. Subscribe, of course, turn your notifications on. Comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.